the Metropolitan Police say a man has been detained and a number of people injured after a stabbing at London Bridge in the heart of the capital. London Ambulance Service has declared a major incident. A BBC reporter at the scene says he saw a struggle between a group of men and heard shots being fired. The bridge has been sealed off and members of the public are being directed away from the area. Emergency services are at the scene. We can show you some of the latest images uh, sent in to us now by someone who works uh, nearby. They show people uh, running across the bridge uh, in panic, as you might expect. Reuters, a reputable news agency, is saying that they understand that somebody uh, has been stabbed in the area and that police have, uh, as Andy Moore, our correspondent, was saying have detained a suspect. Other reports are suggesting they have shot a suspect. Uh, let's talk now uh, to someone who is in the area, Thomas Dunford. Uh, thanks so much for joining us here on BBC News, uh, Mr Dunford. What uh, can you see at the moment? Well, we've just been moved. So I was on 55 King William Street, which overlooks the bridge. Um, so I saw two bodies get dragged from the bridge, one guy was getting resuscitated, um, but my understanding, I think he passed away, but they put a, a sheet over him. Um, but we've been evacuated from the building and we've just been ushered down towards Tower Bridge. Um, and then I've just seen five um, sort of territorial vans uh, sort of zoom past, so I don't know what's going on. It's worth, therefore, rewinding. Um, we understand this incident started to involve, uh, uh, unfold just before two o'clock this afternoon, uh, local time here in London. Uh, where were you at that point? At that point, I was in my office, so I saw everything outside my office window um, in terms of all the police fans, and then I saw the bodies getting dragged out, probably, I don't know, quarter past two, um, and police running towards London Bridge with guns. And I think pretty, pretty sure we had done shots as well. Right, because uh, I was going to ask you what you, what you thought you might have heard. We did speak to another eyewitness a little earlier who thought that they had heard as many as seven or eight shots. Does that sound similar to your experience? Yeah, within the space of about 20 seconds, there was multiple gunshots that we heard. Yes. Um, and then emergency services very quickly on the scene. Uh, we know the London Ambulance Service has declared uh, a major incident um, and people ushered off the bridge very quickly. What was the mood like? Were people fairly calm or uh, were people rather more panicking? Uh, panicky. I mean, there was people in the cafe opposite us, Farmer Jays, and at first they closed all the doors, but then the police opened the doors and made everybody sort of sprint out um, all at once. Uh, it was very panicky, but it seems like the police dealt with it quite well. They got everybody out of the area pretty quick. Thomas, we're looking, uh, as you speak, at um, an image that you've sent in to us, uh, which I assume you've filmed on your phone. Can you just exa explain to us exactly where that is in relation to the bridge? So from that image, if you were to... Go to the left, that's London Bridge. Right. Um, so that's pretty much looking at the end of London Bridge, that. And when did you take this photograph? When did you take this film? Um, probably about 45 minutes ago. And so if you were to uh, look at the scene now, d d does it still look like that? I've been, actually I've been evacuated from the, from the area now, so I'm now by Tower Bridge. Right, yes, you said. And when you say you were ushered away from the area, was that by the police? And if so, what did they say to you? So they communicated with the receptionist downstairs in my office who communicated with us that we needed to evacuate the building. And then as soon as we got downstairs, they made us all sort of sprint, sprint right. OK, well, look, it must be... It must be rather frightening. Um, do uh, stay in touch with us. But for now, uh, Thomas Dunford, thanks so much uh, for getting... Uh, in touch with us. Let's talk now to Mike King. Uh, no, let's talk in the mean. while well, we wait to talk to Mike King, who I also think is in the area. Let's uh, uh, bring in our correspondent, Andy Moore, who is sitting with me watching these uh, pictures and uh, keeping abreast of any developments. Uh, what are you seeing and hearing, Andy? So, first of all, the official information from the Metropolitan yeah. Police, it's worth repeating. They were called to an incident at 1.58 
they said it involved a stabbing. Uh, they say several people have been injured and they talk about a man uh, being detained. Uh, London Ambulance Service saying they've declared a major incident. So I, I'm looking through lots of uh, eyewitness video from, from the scene now. Uh, I'm looking at some, some other video which shows what appears to be a member of the public. As I said, somebody in civilian clothes. For all we know, it, it may be uh, uh, a police officer who, who's in civilian clothes. We just don't know, but appears to be uh, a member of the public wrestling with a, a man on the floor. Uh, the man on the floor appears to be dressed in black clothes, appears to be uh, bearded. Uh, the member of the public uh, who's, who's wrestling with him is pulled off uh, and then the uh, police uh, fire a, a number of shots. So um, it is worth uh, remembering... Ah, here we go, sorry, we can see some of that uh, video now... Exactly, what ..of what I was describing. talking about, yes. Exactly. So, I mean, it was our correspondent, John McManus, who said it, it appeared to be a fight. We can see the member of public being pulled off there and it's just after this uh, that the man is shot. And then you can see, yes, here we, we're seeing it again. So mm. that member of the public, see there, is being pulled off, the man on the ground, and then we're not showing, obviously, the, the moment of shooting, but then the man is shot and disabled. Mm. And after that, it's interesting that the armed police stand back some distance. They don't uh, administer any uh, first aid to the uh, man on the ground. They're obviously concerned that there may be explosives on the man, there may be some further danger. Uh, this hasn't officially been declared a terrorist incident, but it's worth remembering this is on London Bridge, the scene of a terrorist incident in 2017, which involved stabbings and which involved the terrorists being shot. So there are some elements that are certainly similar. OK, Andy Moore. Uh